Ah, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tactical Gary. I hope everyone had a good holiday. Let's get back to business. Every prepper, every tactical person, every human being on earth needs to have a bleed kit, a trauma kit. This is in contrast to a first aid kit. First aid kits are great. This is my first aid kit for the home. However, the trauma kit is its own separate piece. I actually make many of these trauma kits for myself, for all locations. I like to have one in each vehicle. I like to have one in my bug out bags. I like to have one in my, in everything. Uh, weapons bags. Every room of the house, every quarter of the house. Every possible place, even my man purse has most of these items in it. And I like to make them for friends and family too. In fact, one of the most important things is that all of the packs that I make are identical. Now the only difference between the home version of my trauma pack and the vehicle version is the vehicle version will have an edit tool tucked in here. And this is a both a window breaker, a glass breaker. Ah, there we go. And a seatbelt cutter. Essential tool, because these are going to be located in a position in the vehicle that is accessible for the driver, this version of the trauma pack is essential. However, we're gonna put that aside. We're just gonna focus on the bare bones trauma pack items. The most obvious thing right off the bat is I like to have red packs with the medical universal cross because this makes it very visible, makes it very quick to get to, may cut off a few seconds of fumbling and looking for the trauma pack. You can get these in other colors. I prefer red. However, you might wanna go with all black and remove this if you're going for something a little bit more low key, gray man. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to have a good pair of medical grade clothes tearing scissors. These are very safe. They have a little tip there. It prevents it from cutting the individual. It just cuts the clothing. So I like to keep my zippers in a corner. That way it's a lot easier to open up than if you have both zippers over here. The idea is you want quick access. And if I can do this with one hand, you sure as hell can do it with two hands. Although you may have to open this with one hand if, if what you're treating is one of your arms or one of your own hands and you're by, by yourself. But this is the basic... So this is the basic contents of the Tactical Gary Trauma Kit. Right off the bat, this medical tape is excellent. It's all sorts of different interesting uses. You can seal a wound with this alone. It, duct tape will work as well. Duct tape's not great for the skin. Uh, this is medical graded. I like to have a crazy color, like blue or purple, because then it makes it very visible. Also keep in mind, I am not a medical professional. I am a expert professional in most subjects however medicine is not one of them however uh, i'm going to let you know what i do for my trauma pack and it's up to you to do your own research and talk to your own professionals let's move this out of the way if you were to face a unfortunate shf scenario the first thing you're going to want to put on is your gloves gloves are to protect the person administering the medical care because like Bear Independent says, if it's wet and it's not yours, don't touch it. So gloves are key, put those gloves on first. Likewise, this antiseptic wipe is not for the patient, it is for the person administering the care to protect them from unsightly liquids, bodily liquids. Now I like to keep an extra pack of this uh, Compressed gauze, however, this is not essential because every trauma pack should have a good Israeli bandage. Something like this. This is all you need kind of in and of itself. Now these packs actually contain inside of them another air sealed bandage. So let's, let's open this up and take a look at it. As you can see, it has multiple points of entry. Let's use this top one.
All right, so as you can see, I have not broken the seal. This is still medically sterile. And I've, all I've really done is I've removed one barrier to entry. So you may want to pre-open these in your own pack. It's personal preference. As you can see, there's some basic instructions here. Every one of these contains the necessary things to create a very tight, a very tight compression bandage. However, having the extra gauze is good. But this is not one of the more one of the more expensive kits may have actual hemostatic agents applied to the compression bandage. Now, to save money, I have my my hemostatic agent as a separate a separate item. In this case, it's a powder. You simply open this, pour this into the wound. This will make the blood clot much faster. If the patient is on blood thinning medications, this will certainly be a very important item. You can also find this gauze pre-soaked in the hemostatic agent. Of course, that adds a lot of expense to your trauma kits. I like to go with lots of trauma kits. So I add the extra step so that I can produce more. However, if you have the budget, get the gauze that already is, comes pre-soaked in the hemostatic agent. Another note on producing a lot of sets, I have a lot of these trauma kits, they're all identical. Everything is in the exact same spot in all of my kits because that way I know exactly where everything is. I train myself on where everything is and I could do it with my eyes closed. In fact, I may have to. I may be treating myself for an eye wound. Perhaps there's been an explosion and I've been blinded by it and I have to, I have to take care of a head wound. I want to know where everything is just from muscle memory. So if you have a serious traumatic injury, you may want to add the extra gauze. You may want to go for this if it's on a limb or uh, some kind of like a, like a leg or an arm scenario, you may want to immediately add the tourniquet. The way that I keep my tourniquets, and I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I like to keep my tourniquets in this very particular configuration that I've invented. The idea behind this is that you want to get this open you want to be able to apply this to yourself. As you can see, with the one swift movement, I now have this large thing that I can put my leg over, my arm in, whatever it takes. Once that's in, I pull this as hard as I can. So pulling this creates tremendous tension, and then I close it on there, seal it on there. You'll notice this is a quality, large, powerful windlass right here. This, you then turn this around, to add to the tension, if this thing is applied correctly, the person will be a tremendous amount of pain. This is to stop blood that is squirting out. If you've applied this properly, they will no longer have a pulse in that limb, and the blood will stop squirting. It's not a pleasant thing, but it is what it is. Now, some of the kits I make for the people do not have this extra gauze. However, it is a good thing to have. You, so if the wound is especially large, you may actually pack this in right to the bone. Of course, that is after you've applied the hemostatic agent. I also like to keep a few of these burn gels. Burns are another big problem. Sharpie, essential. If once you apply the tourniquet, you're going to want to write the time with the sharpie that you applied it. This way, medical care, once the professionals have taken over, they can know exactly how long this has been applied. Other essential items. Every trauma kit should have one of these emergency blankets. Keep the patient out of shock, keep them warm. Keep them nice and happy, just like this person right here. Now in my kits, I don't include this for kits that I make for the people, but for my kits I also add the nasopharyngeal airway openers for multiple sizes. For Usually I'll have a child size and an adult size, along with the lubricant. What you normally would do is you would open this up, you'd squeeze the lubricant into this package, get the lubricant all over this, jam it down their nostril. They then can breathe without having the unfortunate gag reflex that comes with sticking something like this down their throat. Honorable mention, you may want to add some of these trauma pads, chest seals, always a good thing to have. And because they're nice and flat, it's easy to slip those in there. However, when I make trauma packs for people, I generally don't include these. Find a good location in your home to keep your central home version of the trauma pack. I like to add mine to my first aid kit and I have it on the shelf. It's a very central location in the house right next to the microwave oven. And as you can see, it's ready to go. Basic trauma kit 101, 
This is just essential stuff. You have in a nice little pack like this, you can handle a lot of life-threatening situations. Now for the remainder of this video, I'd like to try this bad boy out. Okay folks, here's our controlled scientific environment. I have the window, the glass, I'm wearing protective gear. I'm wearing, you can't see me, but I'm wearing goggles. And this is my, uh, my glass, my mic. Now a real window of a vehicle, if it's the front of the windshield or the back windshield, it will have a, a layer of plastic that will keep it from shattering. However, parts, other parts of the windows may not have that. So we're gonna attempt this to see how well this actually shatters the glass. First, let's try just some other, as you can see, other materials are not going to do the job. So let's try this bad boy. With this, the idea behind this is it creates a, a point of small surface area so that all the force gets concentrated into that one spot. So let's see how this goes. As you can see, it's actually quite difficult. Uh, maybe this thing doesn't work that good. Ah, there we go. Took a little bit of elbow power. So there you have it folks, ladies and gentlemen, tool works, and remember, stay tactical. Tactical gear, you don't need a trump in fact that good, you, all you need is a first aid kit, you don't need any, all that fancy equipment. Oh yeah, you want to rethink that? How about I give you a little bit of trauma and you can see if, if you really do need it. <clears throat> oh, can, can I borrow your trauma pack please?